After a month of facing every candle starter in three waves spread across one weekend each, the seven star raids are returning to their original format. As Mars comes to an end, one Pokemon from Johto is ready to take over. From the 5th to the 7th of April, and then again a week later from the 12th to the 14th. Meganium, the long-necked dinosaur, and final evolution of the grass-type starter Chikorita will be appearing in Black Crystal Terror Raid battles, protecting its territory and those around it with a psychic Terra type. Meganium is likely to utilize a variety of moves such as Slide Screen, Reflect, Body Slam, Petal Blizzard, Zen Headbutt, and Terra Blast. Thanks to its hidden ability, Leaf Guard, there is a high chance of Sunny Day being one of the additional moves, allowing it to unleash Solar Beam upon its foes. Don't forget our Terra builds are based on predictions of what we think will work great in battle against Meganium the Unrivaled. Updates will follow after release. Hi, Johnny from Galaxy Worm here, welcome back to the universe and get ready to blast off into the universe as we explore how we defeated the gentle dinosaur Meganium. Meganium, as a psychic type Pokemon, it has some weaknesses, being Bug, Ghost and Dark types. While Meganium itself doesn't naturally learn many psychic type attacks, it can still pose a challenge with moves like Light Screen and Reflect. Fortunately, there are ways to counter these defensive strategies. Some Pokémon have abilities that ignore the effect of Light Screen and Reflect, while there are always moves like Defog and Brick Break. To prevent this video from being too long, as usual, we'll include additional builds and strategies in the description down below. Incineroar is ready to give Meganium the same treatment that Slowbro gave Cinderace. You will definitely have battled this Kitty Cat Pokemon before. El Tigre is capable of using the move Power Trip, which increases the power based on the user's stat boosts. With the right teammates providing buffs and debuffs against Meganium, victory in this raid can be achieved in matters of seconds. Incineroar can boost its stats using Swords Dance and Nasty Plot, ensuring that Power Trip deals devastating damage. Bulk Up is also always an option. Additionally, Brick Break can help break through Meganium's barriers like Light Screen and Reflect. As a Terra type, you can opt for the Stellar Terra type to maintain resistance, although the Dark Terra type is also an option. If Incineroar is unavailable, Corvic Knight makes for an excellent replacement. Corvic Knight works completely the same, boosting its own stats to unleash a powerful power trip. Corvic Knight stats can be boosted with moves like Hone Klaus and Iron Defense. These two moves are learned through leveling up, so you don't have to use any TMs. Since Corvic Knight cannot learn Brick Break, you'll have to opt for Defog instead. Of course, don't forget to change Corvic Knight its third type to Dark. Next up, we have the Pinsir Pokemon Scizor. With Scizor's bug Steel Typing, it will resist any Grass or Psyche type attacks Meganium could throw at you. As a Terra type, you can opt for the stellar Terra type to maintain that resistance. But the bug Terra type would also do the trick. As usual, we have Swords Dance for attack buffs and Brick Break to break through any barriers. For our main attacking move, we have Lunge with Skitter Smack as backup. With these moves, we will always be in control. Lunge not only deals damage, but also lowers the target attack stat, while Skitter Smack does the same for special attack. However, note that Skitter Smack only has a 90% accuracy. Following up, we also have the Samurai Power Ranger, King Gambit. I'm not talking about a move in chess, but about Bisharp's evolution. As a Terra type, you can opt for the Stellar Terra type or the Dark Terra type. King Gambit is pretty straightforward. Kowtow Cleave, Swords Dance and Brick Break. Leer is also an option. Provide all these attackers with a Shell Bell health item, run them with the Adamant Nature and maximize the HP and attack EVs. And if you still have your Terra type Bug Mew from the Mew Duel Raids laying around somewhere, this Pokemon is also always an option. Equip Mew with the Expert Belt health item along with Swords Dance, Leech Life, Big Break and Lunge. Lunge can always be replaced with Skitter Smack. If you're more leaning towards a special attacker, you can always light up some candles with Chandelure. Chandelure has a hidden ability that will ignore any barriers on the field. 
Run your chandelier with a mother's nature and allocate EVs to maximize HP and special attack. Of course, equip it with the Shell Bell Held item. And as last, we have some support options like Umbreon and Sinistar. Umbreon can always attack with Crunch, lowering the target's defense stat with Screech. And it can also provide some defense and or special defense coverage with any barrier moves. Sinisha can help everyone on the field staying healthy, but can also hold its own with moves like Shadow Ball and Nasty Plot. Of course, not to mention Strength Zap. As usual, there are always some extra main attackers, support Pokémon or just some Pokémon you can have fun with in the description down below. Feel free to share any strategies you would love to see in the fight against Meganium. As always, I'm Johnny, thanks for watching and we hope to see you all next time. Feel free to subscribe if you're curious about what more crazy adventures await us. Johnny out, see ya!